Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, now, today we'll be studying about chapter nine, rational numbers. We have already done a quick recap, sorry, we have already looked at rational numbers in the previous class. We will take a quick re recap of the previous class before we move further on. Rational numbers, as we all know, we have already discussed, it is numbers that can be represented in the form p by q where q is not equal to zero. Now we have already understood what rational numbers are. They are simply those numbers which can be represented in this manner. p can be any integer, q can be any integer. It has positive, negative and positive numbers also. We have also seen about this. The next thing that we will, we will be uh, discussing or, or we will be dealing with are equivalent rational numbers. Now, equivalent rational numbers, we will be coming across this in the exercise, so we will not waste time here, but I will simply give you a brief, uh, brief, you know, explanation of what this actually means. Equivalent rational numbers means equal rational numbers. Equal. For example, I write 2 by 3. So, equal rational numbers. So, this can also be 6 by 9. How can 2 by 3 be equal to 6 by 9? For example, if I take 6 by 9, I can take 2. You see, these two are uh, in the multiple multiplication table of 3, 6 and 9. So, I can take 3. 3 into 3 is 9, 3 into 2 is 6. So if I cancel them out, we are get going back to 2 by 3. That means same as this. So equivalent rational numbers are those rational numbers which are same or equal even, they, even though they have different numbers given. All right? So this is about equivalent rational numbers. We'll be looking at these numbers in the exercises. The next topic that we have to know about is rational number has a standard form. It's standard form. Standard form. Now, a rational number has a standard form. Standard form, sim you can also call it a simplest form. For example, 2 by 3. 2 by 3. When you look at this number, you cannot cancel any further. 2 and 3, they are in separate multiplication table. 2 has a different multiplication table, 3 has a different multiplication table. But there may be instances where we did in the previous example, I'll take the same example, 6 by 9. 6 by 9 is also a rational number, but we will say that this is not in the standard form. Why? Because we can cancel them because they are both in the same multiplication table of 3. So we can further reduce it. 3 into 3 is 9. 3 into 2 is 6. Now, 2 by 3. We are getting the same thing again. 2 by 3 cannot be cancelled anymore. No more cancellation, no more mathematical operation can take place, except for divide. All right? So, this particular form where it is reduced to the lowest form, all right? The lowest form. It is, these are called, uh, this is called as the standard form of a rational number. All right? We will be dealing with this also in the exercises. Now, we will look at the next topic, rational numbers between rational numbers. Rational numbers between rational numbers. Now, if I give, ask you a question, what are the numbers between 1 and 5? It's very simple. We know 2, 3, 4. Right, these are the numbers between 1 and 5. But if I ask you what is the rational number between 1 by, uh, sorry, minus 5 by 6, for example, and minus 2 by 3, for example. If I ask you what, is the, what are the numbers, rational numbers between these two numbers, now it becomes difficult for us to find the numbers. We cannot simply say minus 4 by 6. We cannot simply say that. Now there is a certain procedure to find the numbers between these two 
rational numbers. So the first step you're going to do is, you're going to make this equal, the denominators. We call them the denominators and the numerators. These denominators, we have to make them equal first. So we will see, we will look for a common multiple. Six and three, both of them can be, uh, both of them can divide 18. All right, so these two denominators, I will change to 18 first. So how do we do that? First, I take this number, 6, all right, minus 5 by 6. To make this 18, I, to make this into 18, I have to multiply by 3. 6 into 3 is 18. Now, when I multiply here, I have to multiply the same number in the numerator also, okay? So, 5 into 3 is 15, but don't forget that you have a minus here. Minus in the plus is minus by 6 in 3 is 18. Now we have this number is changed to minus 15 by 18. Similarly for this, minus 2 by 3. 3, we have already seen, reverse it. 3 into 6 is 18. So you're multiplying 6 here, so 6 you will multiply over here also. So you get minus, sorry, 2 into 6 is 12. Minus in the plus is minus by 3 into 6 is 18. Now, these two rational numbers have been changed to minus 15 by 18, minus 12 by 18. Now, looking at both of them, we see that the denominators are same, equal. Now, we can forget about these two and compare these two. That means minus 15 and minus 12. If you look at the number line, the number line, this side is positive, that means 1, sorry, 2, 3. This side is negative, right? Now, in the negative part, you will come across, for example, minus 12 is here and minus 15 is here. After minus 12 will be minus 13, minus 14, and then minus 15. So we can conclude that, therefore, the rational number between these two are minus 14 by 18 and minus 13 by 18, all right? So these two rational numbers are the numbers between these two. We can increase, we can find the more numbers of rational number, sorry, more numbers between these two if you increase the denominator. Instead of 18, if we take 30, the numbers will increase, okay? So depending on the number of uh, rational numbers you are supposed to find, you will consider your denominator, all right? So this is all about rational numbers between rational numbers. And also, in, there's another topic where we will be discussing about comparison of rational numbers. So comparison of rational numbers is simply finding the greater or smaller number, comparing numbers, greater or smaller. And after that, we'll be dealing with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. All these things will be coming, uh, will come across them in the exercises. So we will look at them, you know, properly look into them when we do the exercises. So we will start off with the exercise. Please turn to page number, page number 182, exercise 9.1, 9.1. Question number one, it's given List five rational numbers between minus one and zero. We just had a look at the, this example, an example, minus one and zero. Now you may be wondering, zero, right after zero comes minus one. And moreover, if it is a rational number, it should be in the form of P by Q. But here it is simply given minus one. And here it is zero. How can it be in this form? So I, want you to know that for every counting number, counting number means one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, it goes on, okay? For every number, there is a denominator one. I call it the invisible one, all right? It's invisible to the eye, but there is always a one. So for the first part, this minus one by one. Similarly for zero also, zero, can also be written as 0 by 1, okay? Now, since they are asking us five numbers, we will take, we will try to change this to six. 
six, so that we can have five numbers in between. So to make this six, what I do is, one into six will give you six. So you have multiplied six here, so minus one, this number, will also be multiplied with six. It will become minus six by six, okay? Similarly for this, zero by one, same thing, into six will give you six. Zero into six again, because you're multiplying six here, six should be multiplied here also. You multiply anything with zero, you get zero, right? So now, since both denominators are same, consider only the numerator now. From zero to minus six, how many numbers are there? If you go back to the number line, you will know that minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have these five numbers. So, minus 5 by, don't forget this 6, minus 4 by 6, minus 3 by 6, minus 2 by 6, minus, sorry, minus 1 by 6. These are the five numbers between, rational numbers between minus 1 and 0. Okay? For all the cases, we are going to simply multiply certain numbers to make the denominators equal, okay? When you find uh, numbers between two rational numbers, please keep in mind that you have to make the uh, denominators equal, all right? So let's move on to the next question. So let's look at question number three. Minus four by five and minus two by three. Now this is a in the form of p by q, p by q, okay? So these two rational numbers, uh, we have to find, uh, sorry, we have to find five rational numbers between these two rational numbers. So if you look at five and three, I'm directly going to take 45, okay? I'm taking a bigger number so that we can list out five numbers. So 5 can be, uh, 45 can be divided by 5, 5 into 9 is 45, 45 can be divided by 3 or we can say that 3, 45 is in the multiplication table of 3. Now 3 into what is 45? 3 into 1, so we know that 3 into 15 is 45, that means this is in the multiplication table of 3. So I'm going to convert both of them to 45. So the first step will be like this. You have to multiply something to 5 to get 45. So we know that 5 into 9 is 45. Since you are multiplying 9 here in the numerator also, you multiply by 9. So you get 36 minus in the plus, minus. Similarly for the next number, we already saw that 3 into 15 is 45. So since you are multiplying 15 here, here also it should be 15. So 2 into 15 is 30. Minus in the plus is minus. Okay, now we have the numbers minus 36 by 45. After minus 36 will come minus 35 by 45. After this, minus 34 by 45. Minus 33 by 45. Minus 32 by 45 minus 31 by 45, and finally minus 30 by 45. So your five rational numbers are one, two, three, four, five. These are your five rational numbers. All right, let's move on to the next question. The next question reads, write four rational numbers in each of the following patterns. Now there is a pattern given here, so we will look at the first pattern. There is a pattern in this manner, minus 3 by 5, minus 6 by 10, minus 9 by 15, minus 12 by 20. Now we, they want us to write four more rational numbers in this pattern, okay? They want us to write four more rational numbers. What will come after this? So before we go there, we have to understand. If you look at the numerators first, look at the numerators first. They are in the multiplication table of 3, right? 3 into 1 is 3. 3, forget about the negative minus sign for now. 3 into 1 is 3. 3 into 2 is 6. 3 into 3 is 9. 3 into 4 is 12. So automatically, 
the next will be 3 into 5, 15, right? Similarly, 18. It will go on like that. Now, we have understood the first part. Let's look at the second part. If you look at the denominator, they are in the multiplication table of 5. 5 into 1 is 5, 5 into 2 is 10, 5 into 3 is 15, 5 into 4 is 20. So, 5 into 5 will be 25, right? So, this we will, for the next number, we will do like this. Minus 3 into 4 is 12. So, here we have to multiply by 5. That means minus 3 into 5 and 5 into 5 into 1, 5 into 2, 5 into 3, 5 into 4. The next will be 5 into 5. That means both numerator and denominator, I am multiplying with the same number. All right? So whatever you get, similarly, like this, next will be, since it is 6, both 6, 7, 7, next will be 8. And you have to multiply like this. So 3 into 5 is 15, the minus sign, 25, 3, 6, 18, minus, and this will be 30, 3 into 7, minus 21, 5 into 7 is 35, this will be minus 24 by 40. So, after this will come this, after this, this, after this, it will go on like that, okay? So, this is how you are going to solve the pattern. Uh, different question, uh, the other questions will also follow a similar pattern. It may not be the same, but it will follow a similar pattern. Now, Let's look at the next question. Give four rational numbers equivalent to. This is question number three. All right. Give four rational numbers equivalent to. Minus two by seven. So we want four numbers equivalent to minus 2 by 7. Now, in the, uh, we have already heard about this equivalent. We have already discussed a little bit about equivalent. That means equivalent means same. So we have to find same numbers for this. To do that, it's, a, it's very simple. We simply have to multiply some numbers here. So to find the first equivalent number, they're asking us for four rational numbers. So, to begin with, we will multiply with 2, all right? In the next step, we will multiply by 3 until we get 4, 4 rational numbers. We will keep multiplying them. So, now we have, when you multiply all this, you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 rational numbers. That means minus 2 into 2 is minus 4 become 14, minus 2 into 3 is minus 6, 7 into 3 is 21, minus 2 into 4 is minus 8, 7 into 4 is 28, minus 2 into 5 is minus 10, 35. So similarly, these other two questions, you simply have to multiply with 2, with 3s, with 4s, with 5s. Then you will get your uh, equivalent rational numbers. So to check, let's take this example, 2. These, both of them are in the multiplication table of 2. We multiply by 2, so we divide by 2 again. 2 into 2 is 4, 2 into 7 is 14. You're getting same thing again. That means they are equal, isn't it? Now, this, so these four rational numbers are equivalent to minus 2 by 7, all right? So with that, we will conclude here today. We'll continue the rest of the questions in the next class. So we'll see you again. Please keep practicing. Do not miss out. Keep practicing and practicing more to understand better. So see you in the next class. Thank you.